Sorry, I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I was on vacation. But anyway, hello, and I'm going to teach you how to make a sprite based recaster. Now, um, there's a wiki that will uh, link in the description. Um, credit to the wiki, Scratch Wiki, for um, actually helping me how to do this. And. Um, also for um, a, a youtuber that has i can't remember the real name biscuit dog or something for um actually um give me the link to um the site now if you want to know how to make a less basic casket which is better than this then basically just go and uh, look at the site and you should see a, uh, a tutorial on how to make a less basic caster but it will take a long time i strongly recommend you make make a sprite based recaster first if you don't know what a sprite based recaster is it actually makes your map look a bit like 3d now this doesn't look that 3d but this is actually if you didn't know that the fight is a phrase one office i haven't got any props in it yet but right now this is actually um the map and it's really and the map may be really hard, but it's not. All you need is a sprite like this. So, so I've made the walls really small on this sprite because, so then it would fit to um, like moving around the map. But yeah, basically all you need to do is you need to use this. Make sure it's converted to bitmap. So if it's converted to bitmap, you'll see it says convert to vector, and then you can do select, and you just you, you drag your mouse over and then delete the parts that you don't want by pressing backspace and that just gets rid of a big part of the place i don't know what happens if you make it get it to the border of the area but yeah this is this is fnaf one pizzeria i made i don't know why i forgot the session finds the phrase but okay of course by the way if you accidentally delete a sprite no problem just restore it but via here right and then that should work but yeah it, it looks pretty cool but now the person sprite what you need to do is make a little black dot what you need to do is go make sure it's converted to bitmap again and make it black um shade and then set the pen size to two and then center that little cube and this makes like the person sprite and um you can set speed to whatever you want and that depends on how fast your character moves so um now what you need to do now is look at these this script here uh, give me a little bit to look at it in fact let's um zoom in a lot zoom out a little bit so i can show you the the, the thing so yeah, now remember, C go to X, right? You need to put this somewhere where there's no where it's not gonna be inside a wall because if you put it in somewhere inside a wall, then it's gonna you're not gonna be able to move in the map. So this is why I had to set it to go X eleven point five two five because that's where the office is. So wherever you want your player to start, you choose what X to go. But you might need to keep on trying until you actually see your map because can be really hard and you can maybe touch the wall but the you want to make a block called move speed and make sure that when you go over to the, the block it the run without screen refresh the run without screen refresh box <laughs> is um freak um it's basically um text because otherwise i don't i think it'd still work but it won't work as good now now what you want to do is um you want to do this move speed steps now it's it's pink speed because you can actually drag so if you don't know how to make the block you just need to do move just move and then add an input number text and then this should put speed in that then you grab that you touch the grab speed and you can actually make like a looking variable and you also want to create a variable called speed as well you want to create a variable called angle offset, column, distance, of course, speed, and a list called distances. 
so you'll need it later. Remember, remember this broadcast sense is really important. Make sure it waits because otherwise this may not work. So, anyway, this is um, probably the longest part. Now you need a sensor. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to rename this um, the drawer. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So, by the way, I don't know how to do a costume yet in a person, so um, leave a comment if you know guys, uh, if you guys are um, scratch experts and you know how to use it now. As you sense, it broadcasts the block called Sense, and broadcast drawn rate main. Remember, make this one run for its screen refresh, and then this is the script you have to put in to this one. And basically, all you need to do is duplicate the person sprite, and then, um, um, just rename it sensor and then that basically and then just add the script and this basically um I think it detects if you're near a wall so it stops you from moving that's why if you're in a wall um when you spawn it will actually screw you you know quickly screw you over but yeah Okay, now this one, you, you, all you need to do is create a sprite, paint, and this is our last sprite, the drawer. You don't have to have anything for this sprite, just a blank, just a blank sprite, because this is one that we're going to draw. So when it receives draw, draw, and this is what the defined draw should do, make sure this one runs without screen refresh. Oh, and, yeah, let's actually bring this here. So, have you got that? I hope you've all got it, because um, it's really hard, you see. <laughs> but that's how I make a recaster. I also made a few FNAF games on Scratch, if you want to check them out, the, the link's in the description. I, I'm planning to make this a FNAF survival, I don't know if I'll upload that to Scratch, because it is a sprite based recaster, and a list based recaster is too much better, but it's much harder to do. But that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all later, goodbye.